I want to show you how I set up my camera to shoot both horizontal and vertical video at the exact same time. This is a Lumix G9 Mark II, and what's cool about some of these newer Lumix cameras is they have some additional features that make this a whole lot easier. If you're familiar with the process, you basically record in what's called open gate, meaning you're capturing the entire sensor size. Right now, it's set to 16 by 9, so you can see my framing. This is what you would get with pretty much any modern camera that shoots HD or 4K, 16 by 9 framing. But on these Lumix cameras, you can go into your codec settings and you can actually pick four by three and this is gonna capture the entire sensor area. And watch what happens to my framing when I enable that. My framing stayed the exact same horizontally, but now I unlocked these extra pixels vertically. So I'm getting the full sensor video. Now, that's all great, but it's kind of hard to tell what you're framing when you're looking at a 4x3 image. You can use your grid and that kind of thing, but these Lumix cameras have a really cool feature that you might not know about, which is in the menu here. If you go to your settings menu and you go to the monitor display options and you go down to frame marker, you'll see that when you turn this on, you get your 16x9 framing. That green box is my 16x9, but I can still see the additional pixels that I'm capturing for my vertical content as well. And what's really neat about the three by three grid is that this center grid is basically nine by 16 vertical. It's not quite, but it's pretty close. So as long as you're framing within this kind of center third, keeping your 16 by nine safe, you're totally fine. You have horizontal content and vertical content all in one, you haven't sacrificed anything, you haven't cropped anything away. In fact, you've restored the crop that the camera was doing to begin with. The camera was kind of pre-cropping the sensor to give you 16 by nine, and you're just unlocking that. What's even better about these frame markers is if you go in here, you can actually set what they look like. So you have options over the aspect ratio. So if you want to monitor nine by 16, you can actually do that. There you go, there's your nine by 16. I prefer monitoring my 16 by nine, but either way you wanna do it, it doesn't really matter. You can do four by five, one by one, four by three, five by four. You can get all your cinema aspect ratios, your anamorphic crops, all that stuff. So 2.35 to one, there you go. There's your frame marker, but you're still recording the entire sensor. So you have your guide, so you know what you're intending to capture, but you're not throwing away all this extra information up at the top and the bottom. If you don't like green, well, you can change the color. What color do you want it to be? You want it to be blue, yellow, orange. I think there might even be red in here. I don't like red because that's my recording color, but I use green and then you can even change the masking. So see up on the top, it's kind of a dimmer, you know, it's got an opacity, like a 25%. Well, that's because I set that. If I go into my settings and I change this frame mask to 50%, 100%, you can turn that all the way up to where it's just black, but you're still recording that area, which is beautiful. It's such a helpful feature. It lets you do social content, TV content, all at the same time. So my preferred settings, I kind of set my opacity to 25% so I can still see what's up there, but I know what's being cropped. And I shoot with the 16 by nine frame marker on. That gives me my green box, so I know that's my 16 by nine, but I still have some extra vertical pixels and extra resolution there for social.